Hello everyone. I wanted to share something with you today that happened to me this past week. I was shopping at the local orchard, buying apples, having a conversation with the lady at the checkout line because that's what I love to do. And it was a beautiful day and she told me to enjoy the beautiful day that we were given. And I proceeded to tell her that I was about ready to go home and take my son to the orthopedic office in York because he had spent the evening the night before in the emergency room for a broken ankle. And I told her that I was praying that the ankle would not be broken. And her comment to me really took me off guard when she said, pray hard, mom, but you know God doesn't always answer our prayers. You know, that statement was like a punch in my gut because never in all of my years of being a Christian did I ever, ever think that God never answered prayers or that he doesn't always answer prayers. And that wasn't because I didn't face hard times. It wasn't because I you know, didn't have to wait for answers. I've waited years for answers to prayers, but it just got me really hard inside of my gut. And I got in the car and out loud, I started having this conversation with God. And I said, you know what, God, like, why do I talk to you if you don't always answer prayers? And it was like he was speaking back to me and it was a knowing that came into my spirit and I spoke it out loud and I said, oh, okay, God, I got it. I understand. You always, always answer our prayers, but it may not always be how we want it to be. You know, we live in a world today where everything happens very rapidly. And we, if we don't get the answers to what we're praying for rapidly, we automatically think that there's something wrong. You know, in Daniel chapter 10, Daniel had a vision that was given to him by God, and it was about his people and what would happen to them in the latter days. And he asked God for understanding, for spiritual understanding, and he fasted and prayed. And the Bible tells us that he desired this deeply within his heart but he didn't get the answer for 21 days. And Daniel chapter 10, picking up at verse 12, it says that an angel came to Daniel and said to him, don't be afraid, Daniel, since the first day that you began to pray for understanding and to humble yourself before your God, your request has been heard in heaven. I have come to answer your prayer, but for 21 days, the spirit prince of the kingdom of Persia blocked my way. And then Michael, one of the archangels, came to help me. And I left him there with the spirit prince of the kingdom of Persia. You see, for those 21 days, this angel had, had been trying to get the answer from God back to Daniel. And there was a powerful battle that was going on in the heavenlies. And it was against this angel and it was against a demon and they were holding back this angel from being able to come and answer Daniel's prayer for 21 days. And another angel, because of Daniel's prayers, was dispatched on the scene that allowed the angel to be able to proceed and give Daniel the answer. You know, when we are going through a hard time and we're praying, God immediately hears us but we have no idea what is going on in the heavenlies. And it is our job to be part of the answer to our prayer by continuing to pray. Have you been praying for something and you're not getting the answer? You know, maybe you feel like God is not listening to you, but I promise you, He is. You know, the Bible tells us to pray without ceasing. It tells us that whatever we ask for in prayer, believe that we've received it and it will be ours. It tells us that when we call on God and we come and we pray to Him, He listens to us. And the eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and he hears their cry and their prayers. He is attentive to their prayers. And Matthew 7 verses 7 through 8 says to keep on asking and you will receive what you ask for. To keep on knocking and the door will be opened. For everyone who asks receives and everyone who seeks finds. And to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. You know, this week I want to encourage you to pray. Pray like maybe you never have before. Maybe you're continuously praying for that one thing and you feel like God isn't listening, but pray, 
pray until the victory comes.